Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about people saying units do not matter. I've been hearing it quite a lot and most of them, I agree to them to somewhat degree because of course runes are more important. So for me there are three factors. So factor one is knowledge. If you have the knowledge, not only, only about what the skills about a unit is, you know the knowledge how to ruin your unit in different areas, you know what the counter unit is, you know what artifacts to give them. So knowledge is like a main key. Everybody goes into battle with different knowledge. Some have 50%, you can't say it in percentage because if you took the knowledge of the SWC players compared to a casual player, some of them may be have the same knowledge but you can't really say but everybody experiences the game in a different way. And some would take more advantage out of this. Second key, of course, the runes. You know how to, it's, it's also combined with the knowledge. So if you know what units to play, you can use your knowledge in advantage. And of course, the, uh, the unit as well. But if you have great knowledge, great runes and know how to use them on the right units you might need less units to get higher ranks for me i would i wouldn't say i have great knowledge i would say average average knowledge uh average runes units okay also average so i need more units like for me it's go going to be like i need better units because my knowledge is not that great. I don't have the knowledge like as a SWU player. I've been playing even this game for eight and a half years. Let's say half a year was like a break-ish. Still been playing this game almost daily. Sometimes I skip one day because of IRL, IRL things. So yeah, it is what it is. So for me, something changed. I got a new unit and it, 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 um, Pop me to the next rank. I mean, just one star. So we went from Fighter 3 to uh, Conqueror 1. And for me, it's like... Uh, when What I see with units is like chess pieces. So right now, my chess field isn't full. I feel like there's still some chess pieces missing. A SW player will be like, yeah, this one is missing, but I can use this unit because... It can do this, 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 this. For me, like, yeah, I have this in this unit, but uh, most of the time, it's not fitting. And a SWU player be like, having a bigger pool of monsters right now, I'm just playing with like, okay, I've increased the pool, but a SWU player might have a bigger pool, and we'll be using some monsters just for certain situations. In the, the right picks, I'll be picking the wrong picks and then be wondering why this unit is S. So, yeah. Knowledge is the main key, runes, secondary, and third, the monsters. For, in my case, I want runes, monsters, and yeah, no, my knowledge is slacking. I'm, I'm learning every day, okay. Right now, I'm also learning in RTA. Normally, I won't be doing manually out today yesterday i did 30 battles none out of because i got nana and i got tied up by nana okay how did i get nana i was a little bit greedy the net five summon an event i just saw on nana is my top five one of my top five uh natural net five i wanted to get and i got nana i'm happy and also about a video people were talking about um yeah, what you're seeing, the net 5 rate doesn't get higher. I never said the net 5 get higher. I just said, get all the opportunities to get the LDs, what you can get, and summon them all in total. I I don't, I mean, single summons and mass summons have the same rates, but my luck is that uh, I'd rather go, I, I can't even trust the rates, okay? But I'm going to do the rate thing, and in my calculation, I need 286 86 to get a net 5. I know lots of... I've summoned uh, 300 Mystical Scrolls before, and didn't get a net 5. 
and summoned like uh what could call like one time I summoned 50 and got two night fives. Of course, there's a possibility in this game it's called RNG. Of course, you can summon much less and get a net five. But I never tried before to big summon. And this time I'm going to go huge with the LDs. I'm staying patient and hopefully with RNG I will get net of our fives. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's go through my gameplays. Uh, there's like the moment I hit C1, there's like a new knowledge flowing because how C1 players playing and how Fighter 3 players playing is not it's quite the same but a little bit different okay because when you're fighting fighter three player matches are now much much easier because i have nana i my gameplay style changes because with nana i can be more offensive before i was more control based but now it's like protective going second turn or except for my wusa my wusa is going first turn so he protects me uh yeah, Zibala, oh Zibala, I, I I like him more than before. Zibala is one of my goats. Also decent fast. Um, see Ara, is there for the speed lead? Yeah, mostly for the speed lead. Uh, Chandra, I've been using Chandra. I feel like Chandra. I'm going to kick him out and replace him with another. Maybe I bring more. And also, I'm not too focused on violent runes. Uh, of course, people will say violent is the key. But right now, I'm on despair. Um, I'll be also looking at different speed leaders who potentially can help my comp. So, right now, we're going to look at like some of my gameplays. And with the pick band phase, we can't really say much because uh, we can't say much, but it's going fast. So I might not name every unit. There are too many units in the game. Okay. Even you'll be like, oh, the name is easy. That. No, no, no. There are too many names in the game. Okay. Savannah, Nena, and what? We got the. Uh, yeah. Tessarian, Wusa. It's like they are picking just DPS units. We are taking a team. He bent on my use side. Pick up Ben the ninja because I don't want him to go first with the ninja and snipe somebody. Even though we have Nana, but yeah. So here we want to take the Lucian because I don't want any imputation magic firing at me. Uh, he was not ordering. He was actually playing. Uh, his skills are reset because of Zibala because Zibala being the goat. So right now my next goal is to kill the monkey because the monkey seems to be very squishy. Uh yeah. But I'm going to do send the Tessarin because I don't want him to oblive in my Nana. So Nana trying to stun because she's on despair. He doing this skill. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, so the right target Miles. Miles is mostly a little bit more tanky than other units. I'm trying to stand the the Tessarian, but the Tessarian I thought is going to Oblivion my Nana so he could uh, um, kill with the water monkey, but he didn't. He killed actually the Miles. Nana brought her back. And we're trying to stun. Got the Savannah. Now we're trying to kill the Tessarian because the Tessarian could be a threat. But he got a quad stun. I was like, damn. And now Savannah or uh, the Savannah. Nana used all her revives, so we're trying to kill the Tessari now, oh, so we get the points. So here, I feel like, yeah, you have to kill Nana, but right now, it's not the time to kill Nana. I feel like here, he missed, he didn't auto, he missed uh, the kill. He should have killed Miles. Or was he thinking that Savannah's going to get the next turn? No, she wasn't. And there we got the life back. Savannah doing the almost kill. Okay. I thought she was going to kill, but she didn't kill. And now it's over. He, how many stuns does he get? Double stun. Revive. His misplay, in my opinion. And now he killed the Nana. 
Yeah, but we're going to reset with Zibala and it's over. Okay. Uh, another gameplay. Just, just two, three more. Just a short video. It's mostly about uh, me talking about the three basic things about uh, the game. If you want to be competitive. Okay, we got Nana. I have my standard picks. And in the past, I would always ban Oliver. But this time I was like, nah, let me get rid of Jemire. Because he could be more dangerous than Oliver. So in the past, uh, like in my fighter times, when I was fighter 2, fighter 3, I was like, always get rid of Oliver because of that big speed lead. And I was wondering, why people do not ban Oliver? Because... Oliver is not the greatest threat you can counter Oliver and I had two counters to Oliver But my team is still lacking something, but yeah So he's doing his skill one I'm trying to stun He's stripping me There you got Gyo stopping Oliver a little bit, but Chan I didn't brought anything out for Chan Chan yeah, it's quite annoying and all of us up to his skill again and we're trying to stun the Chan. So with the Amduat, I'm relying on the despair runes. And 25% is nothing. Uh, not uh, no, but you can really rely on, but that's what I'm doing. So actually what chess pieces I think I'm missing is not uh, not about LD net fives. I'm talking about natural net fives. I'm missing Juno. I'm missing the Water Paladin, uh, Oliver, uh, Vanessa. Why Oliver, Vanessa? I'm naming them because of the speed lead. I mean, I have Sierra, I have Chandra, I have more, but 33% is different. Um, what else? I think these are the mostly things I'm missing. Yeah, these are the last chess pieces. And but with this chest piece, I'm not going to get a uh, guardian. Maybe I want to get like C2, C3. I'm fine with that. So the Oliver getting rid of my Android, but my Android is coming back. But he's totally controlling me. Uh, we are consistently provoked. Maybe I should have brought Veramos instead of the Gyo. Yeah, I was thinking. Maybe Gyo and uh, Amdot was too much to bring against an Oliver. Maybe I should have only bring one counter. And then have a counter like for each unit like one counter. So uh, going into the next battle, I was like, okay, I'm learning a bit more. It's always knowledge. You need to increase your knowledge. So I'm picking Nana. People say, why are you pick Nana? I feel like I'm relying on Nana. Nana brought me here, so I'm picking her. I don't want anybody to pick her against me. So I'm taking her first. So I was like, Leo, no. I want to kill down their biggest heal. And this is one of the battle where I was like, was he pitting me? But no, he wasn't. This is the gameplay I watched back. I was surprised by Zibala. So Leo doing his Leo thing. He used skill one. Uh, Zibala, uh, Zibala used it on Wusa because the Wusa got pushed back by the Leo. So I want to get the immunity back. Uh, doing, I want to get rid of Leo because uh, I think my units are faster than his. So yeah, I tried to kill the Leo right away. And you'll be thinking, wait, Leo is in danger zone. Yeah, he is. But Zibala resetted him. That's why he can't use his skill. Oh no, he didn't. Did he earlier use... Wait, let me go back. Let me go back. L let me go back. Okay, once again, let me go back. Okay. Did he use skill 3 earlier? Uh, skill 2? Let's skip this skip the part. I was thinking the balance the research to him, but he didn't. Tourette, he used... He used his skill 2. Never mind. So, so actually he could have sniped if I didn't go for him first. Okay, never mind. Zibala wasn't cooking at this part. So now he's trying to snipe at Wusa with 1 HP. Now he couldn't kill the Wusa there. Sometimes 1 HP matter. And now we got everybody resetted. The kill 
and Wuta is coming back alive. We're trying to that two turn sleep, but this Ciara got me on my nerves. Look at the miss. That's why I hate bringing Ciara. I used to love her, but she's missing quite a lot. And then the, she's going to still take on the Wusa. I'm trying to get the of the Isabella because uh, you can, she can be dangerous. I was afraid for her getting her skill tree back. Wusa's now down. And the reset again. And the double freeze. And another Ciara miss. I was like, dang, Ciara. That's why I don't really pick you. But I will still reset her because she's the only DPS. And another miss. This is the third miss in a row. So I was thinking, is there not another DPS speed leader out there? That's dangerous. And by now I was thinking, does he not have his skill tree? Why is he pitying me? But I forgot that I've been consistently resetting with Zibala. So he didn't have his skill ready. So even the uh, cigar didn't have his skill. And he keep trying his best. And another reset by Zibala and Freeze. And Cigar does not have a skill. Even if he kills at this moment. Now Ciara lands and destroy that Amduat. It's over now. It's over now. He didn't have a chance. He was not pitying me. It's just that Zibala being broken. Ciara even missed triple times. Triple misses. If Ciara landed more often. This would have been over a long time ago. Yeah. And then we won. Now look at the last latest match and see how it go, went. Last one and we end in this video. We end in this video. Okay. So uh, this is I think against the LD team. So we pick Nana. He takes uh, la the light LDs. Okay. Cutting the Cheng. That name you can forget. And I banned the Venice. Oh no no. We banned him because he can strip of course. So... Uh, he picks the light panda. He has Ting the Cheng. He has Vanessa. He has uh, Camilla. I have Wusa, Zibala, uh, Miles, and Dominic. He let me through with double DPS. And I was like, okay, who's the worst from them? You could see light panda, but the squishiest, squishiest from them will be Ting the Cheng in my eyes. So I'm going for him first. So only Wusa strip. I don't care. Reset, freeze. We got everybody. Camilla, it was a crit, so yeah. He's almost gone. He's almost gone. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Vanessa got resetted, so we can kill him without him getting revived. So right now, I'm um, acknowledge Zibala a little bit more for his reset. And he's unlucky not getting any defense break. And I let the light panda through because uh, I was also thinking when I he picked uh, the light pandas like his first two picks. So I was like, I picked Zibala and Usa, I think. And I know that Zibala is the only one pushing the panda. I shouldn't have picked Zibala, but Zibala's skill three is just too good. I had to pick him. Okay. So um yeah, the pen are still keeping getting rid of the Wusa, so I get my immunity out of the game. He brings back his Kitting Da Cheng, but still we're going to kill the Vanessa first. And then we are going to kill the Kitting Da Cheng, double storm from the Light Panda. Uh, reset, yeah. He, she, he got frozen, but I was like, still we're going to use the skill tree, doesn't really matter. And we're still going to try to finish up that Kitting Da Cheng. Because the Kitting the Cheng can do madness. I'm not going to give him the chance, even though we have immunity. Now we're going to focus on the panda, and last we're going to kill the Camilla. That's the goal. He killed our Wusa, but it's like a 3 on 2 situation, and Dominic is some madness. You should mess up with Dominic, letting him be that long on the field. Miles also very dangerous, but yeah. The Dominic is not critting, so and the Miles neither, so it's GG. 
So we are improving. I'll be continuing playing, increasing the knowledge. Uh, I might change my DPS. Uh, maybe you guys out there can help me because with more knowledge we can increase the like uh, the knowledge. I don't know what that was. Anyway, these are my units available. Like I was using Douglas, but I don't feel Douglas like that. Um, I have quite a lot of net fives. Like I said, I've been playing eight and a half years. I have in a secondary account that's also quite improved, but I'm playing sometimes on it, not much. I'm very casual. These are my units. I have quite a lot. I have quite a lot. LDs, like I said, no LD fives or the free ones, freebies. Uh, yeah. I have every fusion. Quite a lot of secondaries, weakness, quite some early net force. But if you look at my team, it's water and wind heavy. For for fire, I just brought three units. Yeah. And light dark. And what? Veramos. Not even light. Anyway, that's going to be the video. Thanks for watching. And bye.